Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and today we are going to be playing some World of Tanks with this uh, new Type 59 that I got one day came on sale recently. So, let's just get right into the battle, and as usual, this will be a live commentary. And I'm going to... Alright, so we are in-game on a map called South Coast. Now I have no idea what they call it, that. probably on the south coast of some continent, probably Europe, or... Yeah, Europe, because this is probably where this majority of the war was fought. Anyways, um, in this map I usually have a few strategies I like to do. Usually I like to go up top over there. Um, I don't know, the Type 59 is a very, very good tank. Um, it is worth it. It is really, really worth it. It, it does such a great job. The only thing that I really have to comment about is that it has surprisingly a very, well, it's not bad, but its accuracy could be so much better. The gun's accuracy, the one that you have for the Type 59, is not the greatest. That's really one of uh, the annoying things I find. It's also a T20 with an upgraded engine cannot run a Type uh, 59, which is interesting to know because, well, I don't know. It's just good to know. Type, the Type 59 is really has a very high speed. It's just that the engine is a very slow accelerator, so it's not good in hills going up. Going down, it's great, and on flats, well, once you get it up to speed, you can do some damage. The gun, very good penetration. And uh, so I've played quite a bit with this tank. I've had it for a few days now, and I have to say I'm enjoying it a lot. The only issue is I seem to be very unlucky, because every game I join... No matter how many kills I get with my Type 59, I seem to always be on the losing team. Which is very, very sucky. Like, I think I've been getting like 2-3 kills on average per game. But, I have not had the chance to win. Well, maybe I've won once or twice, but like, nothing major. <coughs> oh, there's my twin. Ah, I was aiming too high. That hit the building, and I just got trapped by some jackass. Damn it. I don't even know who shot me, and all I can do is hope to shoot this guy. Nope, he is gone. And we went, okay, I'm good. Oh, that was a Jag Panther that did that. That's nice to know. That's odd. I would have expected it to do damage, not just track me. Oh well. That T-32 is taking some serious damage from that Jag Panther, so I'm just going to go around here and flank it. Be total oh crap type 59 and a tiger back up oh just took off 10% off that 59's health that's ah, gonna leave a dinger on that guy I really like that T32 to back up because right now we are getting overwhelmed and these guys don't seem to be helping us very much yeah there you go T32's backing up because like it's great and all that but if you're going into this situation and you're two tanks versus like five tanks you're gonna get surrounded and screwed over at least now we can create a wall of confusion. Met T32 is pushing ahead alone. Probably gonna get himself killed, but I'm gonna do. Oh crap, Jack Panther. Tiger and a Panther with another Jack Panther, 8.8 centimeter. Over there, and then don't forget the Tiger over there. None of those are in range, only these few ones are in range. So let's go troll this Tiger or Panther. Which one should I attack first? Let's go after that panther. Let's go do some damage. Boom. I missed. Again. Why do I always miss? This gun misses so badly. I'm I can't I'm gonna add the uh, compartments to my tank to increase the gun's accuracy because it is not the most accurate gun in the game you will learn that very easily. And I just got trapped again. Well that's lovely. I love getting trapped. It's my favorite part of the day. Alright, let's pull a U-turn here. That KV-2 just got sniped. Ouch, that's so strange. Alright, let's get going. Pick up some speed. I just got tracked like five times and did not lose a single piece of health. Yay, I am happy. Alright, they've got a Tiger over there, which is not really that much of a worry considering most of their team. Well, about half the team has been knocked out so far. And here we have a good force moving in on their base. They are inside our base right now. So we want to try and cap that stuff right away. And we got tanks closing in from both sides. So it's going to be sandwich time for these assholes. 
And yes, I did call him out sort of no reason. And look at that, there's two T20s there that are just stopping like a bunch of... Oh my god, that guy hit me hard. That shot was well placed for that. Aim low, aim low, aim low. What you want to do is right here, there's a weak spot right there under its armor on the belly. Aim for that and you will do some serious damage. It will almost penetrate every single time you fire. Which is a beautiful thing when you're trying to kill someone. Now right there it bounced off that time. And I shot on the upper half because I can't control that. Damn it. That could have gone just a little bit better. That KV-1S has that, 10, that 122 gun. That thing throws a massive punch at you. And does a lot and a lot of damage. Look at this tiger. I love the turret. <laughs> it's such an odd turret for a Yeah, there you go. I like that turret better. I can't believe you start off with that turret. That one's so much uglier. Oh, another tiger. My god, how many tigers did we have? This is a joke. Oh, T32 comes out, takes out that problem. Too bad we still have that KV-1S. Oh, T20 comes in as backup. Ah. The T20 has very, very bad frontal armor. I'm not sure if I'm the only person that's noticed that. But, actually, it just has really bad armor in general. This guy's lagging or something. Um... <coughs> the T20 only has 63 millimeters of frontal armor, and it's a tier 7 tank, so really it's a big problem. But then when you go to the Pershing, you have 103 or 104 centimeters of frontal armor, which is a very, very good thing to have. You know, these guys don't realize it, but they could just drive around this stupid Jag Tiger and take it out. Uh, I think the Tiger Tank just realized it, and no, that is the end of that problem. In the meantime, this sexy looking IS-3 is going for a cap because there are two tanks on the enemy team left. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to end it here because there's only the capping left. So, as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Leave the comments below. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time.